It's Friday, so I want to talk about something a little more fun today. And uh, if you're opposed to fun or you hate fun, then just stop listening right now. If you're still with me, I want to tell you about the Monet Box Adventures, uh, what they were and why, why I did them. So a couple years ago, um, I started taking my Monet Box everywhere I went. And I took a video or a photo of it. And um, some people might ask, well, why didn't you just take a photo of your Monet jewelry? And I did do that. But uh, when you're traveling and you're running around, stopping and taking a detailed, uh, high quality photo uh, is not something that's really um, ideal for a traveling situation. And uh, not only that, but a lot of times I, I tried to do that and I ended up losing Monet because I just uh, just fell off somewhere and I, I couldn't find it. So the box was a really easy solution. So I could uh, take a highly visible thing and photograph it or video it in somewhere and then um, what I wanted to do was started to get the name of Monet in people's collective uh, subconscious. So people that saw that name, maybe they didn't know what the box meant, but then in the future, if they ran into Monet again, they may, uh, it may resonate a little bit better with them. So um, I started to uh, tell other Monet maniacs at the time to do this as well. And I started getting photos and video from everywhere. I have photos of the Monet box at the Mona Lisa. I have it on a Spanish castle. I have it uh, in Bali, in Hawaii, in Poland. Um, the Monet box made appearances everywhere. And so I put a lot of these um, together and, I, and, it, and the video is called um, Monet Love Train. That's one of the videos. And then the other videos are called Monet Box Adventures. So that's on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Um, and it worked out pretty well. I think people really enjoyed it. It was a good community thing. And um, anyone can take a photo of a box uh, wherever they are located. So uh, it was all fun and games until... Um, I ended up sending a Monet box to Raffi Taffy on ASMR, and um, he has a massive YouTube channel, and he did a normal video that he does, but then he also uh, included the Monet box to make ASMR sounds uh, with, and uh, that video got over 3.3 million uh, views, so that was pretty cool too. So I think the Monet box adventures turned out really well. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm happy to tell you about them.